Do white lives matter? White lives? Um, uh, it's a bit of a tricky question. Um, no, not in the slightest. Yes, they're trying to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. What to do? What to do? What to do? Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yeah. What to do? What to do? What to do? Half and Jake family, welcome back to the channel, baby. It's your boy Half. And your girl Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. Alright y'all, we back here, back in here in the building again. My bad, something over my words. But uh, we're back again. Hope everybody enjoying their day today. Hope everybody enjoy. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed the day today, yesterday as well. But anyway, new day, um, new reactions. So you want to let them know who we're reacting today? We are reacting to, I, got, I have to give a shout out, uh, the channel that produced this video. His name is Stewie Guy. What's up, Stewie Guy? Uh, we are reacting to is Kanye Yay West Crazy. All right, so we're going to do this one. I think this one is a podcast, I believe, or whatnot. It's about a 20-minute video, y'all, so sit tight. We about to get into it, but before we do, everybody that's out there who has not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes. Turn your post notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. Yes. And comment down below, baby. Come and join the squad, man. Half and Jay. It's free. Mm. We over here kicking off. What? what? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. Good vibes. Boom. I'm oh, sorry. Do white lives matter? White lives? Um, uh, it's a bit of a tricky question. Um, no, not in the slightest. Yes, they tried to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. I really don't give a fuck about white lives. We're gonna get really political. I don't want to go there. All lives matter. It's just oh no, 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 no. All lives matter for you. I'm glad that brother put that out there because he started a whole bunch of constant conversation. Man, you're hard to talk to. Really? Why? Because you're making me think that all my answers are wrong. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answer, it's just your opinion. Is that minute almost up? Why'd you go, oh my god, when you said all lives matter? Because, like, before you explained it, it was, like, kind of Republican. Isn't it crazy that that's a political statement? I mean, I guess. It's like if I say, like, no, as a white girl, <laughs> it's like, do I? <laughs> yeah. But, like, then, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Cancel. Mm. Wow. <coughs> mm. I have goosebumps. Mm. Is this what the world has come to? I was just about to say that. It's crazy how people out there that really think like that, though. Can't even answer the questions, though. No, I'm tripping on the wall. No, yeah, said. that said that yeah. white lives don't matter right. and all lives matter and they feel in a kind Wow. That's crazy. This world is sick. That is really crazy. Woo. That. Mm. I like. I don't want to talk about it. Canceling is also like a form of hate speech. I mean, you're kind of like forcing someone to be silent because they disagree with your viewpoints. Yep. Even if their viewpoints are wrong, I think people are still entitled to them. It should be able to have like discussion without like being scared of getting canceled. Because they're white. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I don't like white people. Well, why not? I just don't. For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. Bit of a tricky question. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody need to help that girl. Somebody need to really go out and talk to that girl. Like, she walking Ooh. around with a lot of hate in her heart. Right, and like, I bet she's the one who says white people are racist mm -hmm. and she's not. Right. That's... Mm. I'm, I'm getting... I'm, I'm pissed already. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is... Woo. And those are human beings saying this, though. You know what I mean? Right. That's the cold part about it. Like, that's crazy, man. Why not? I just don't... For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. A bit of a tricky question, to be honest, because I saw the uh, fuss around Kanye West's Why Lives Matter, and I absolutely didn't agree with the way he was provoking. So I would say Black Lives Matter. How do you think he was provoking? Because as a black man, it, it was a bit odd. It was weird to, to do that. Why is it odd? Because it was not what you would expect it was not really political correct I like what Kanye West dad said he said 
How what? wasn't it not political, what? politically correct though? Oh like, oh my god! How does that fall into any type of political category though? What the media? These Damn. people, people are not thinking for themselves anymore mm. at all. Mm. She's obviously not black, but she's confused to whether white lives matter. Or not, she feels guilty for. She feels very guilty for, and she automatically said, she said black, black lives, man. yeah, black lives matter. Mm -hmm. That's <clears throat> this is mm. crazy. Wow, you guys. Wow, wow. This is this is what's really going on in the world. Mm. Wow, mm. Mm. this is. This gotta be New York or something like that, cause the subway and stuff probably. Oh. To do that. Why is it on? Because it was not what you would expect it was not really political correct I like what Kanye West's dad said he said it was really funny because it was a black man stating the obvious white lives matter there's no reason to get upset about it it's funny that it's politically incorrect to say that your life matters yeah it doesn't make sense do you think he's crazy I think he's quite crazy yeah is Ye crazy who Kanye I love Kanye that was you sold a shirt that said white lives matter Oh, fuck Kanye. Is he crazy? He's crazy, crazy. Why you say that? Because he's crazy. What has he done that made, makes you think that he's crazy? He's just crazy. For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. She just want to be on the camera. I, 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 just... I, I feel she's very ignorant. I feel no, she's she, very ignorant. I feel she really feels that way. And I feel if you look up the word... Ignorant in the diction dictionary, mm -hmm. her face is right there. Yeah, I think she's right doing there. this just for the just for the camera, just because she wants to get attention from it. Like you know, she thinks it's gonna be some yeah, she could be doing thing. it for attention, like, but you know she I mean? probably really feel that way too, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. But she just said that, that she likes him. That's right, what, and then and it changed her mind that crazy. quick because right. he had on a wore right, a shirt right. that said "Why Lives but didn't matter. even know he had it on though. Right, but you're such a fan of him though. For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. Okay. Can you define what crazy is? Kanye. He's the definition of crazy? Yep. Do you think that Kanye West is crazy? I think he's a very unstable man. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's, just I think he's more of an asshole than yeah. crazy, to be honest. Do you think that Kanye West is crazy? Absolutely. Why? Have you seen the news recently? Yeah. He's absolutely crazy. No one should be saying that kind of stuff. What did he say? All of the anti-Semitic. Yeah, that's enough. I, no one should be saying that, and I absolutely do not support him. If you support him and have downloaded any of his albums recently, not a friend anymore. What was, what's one thing you would say to Ye right now? If he was watching? Bye. Bye. What's one thing you would say to Ye if he was watching this? Um, like, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> um, that anti-Semitism is, is not, not cool. cool. Mazel tov, Kanye. I'm fucking up all your best deals. Calm down. Like, drink some tea. And get back on your fucking medication, our kid. Meditate. I love you. I appreciate you. And I wish you well, bro. I like your songs. Not yeah. you. <sighs> Try to use your platform to um, bring people together instead of driving them apart. You're so widely respected for your art. Trashing that is... Just really disappointing, I think. You said what? I watch it every day. Sneak off, right? <laughs> Sneak off or something. Nah, I don't know that guy. Yeah, it has to be him. That guy's an asshole. He deserved to get banned. He did get banned. He did get banned for his dickhead. He'd be talking out his ass. So what do you stream now? Or like, what's your, what platform do you use? I don't know. NYPD got a website I can use? <laughs> nah. You saw me. <laughs> Y'all think Kanye West is crazy? Do we even answer that? You think Kanye West is crazy? Wow. I think he goes by Yee now, right? Yeah. I think he's getting to help his... Did you hear his, his, his comment when he asked that question, the, uh, the other officer? He said, the one to the right, he said, uh, can we even answer that question? This world is... When you got to say that, that's how you know that we're living in a whole different space. Time right era. Now. You know what I'm saying? A whole like, different. You can't even, you don't even know if you can even answer the, a question now. You, you can't write. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that is... It, it wow, really baffles man. me the fact that a white person can't <clears throat> say that white lives matter. Right. Mm-hmm. That's... This world is doomed. 
This is cra- like this is really this is messing crazy. with my head yeah, right is, now. This is really crazy. Wow. Really, really crazy. You think Kanye West is crazy? Like, I think he goes by Yee now, right? Yeah. I think he's getting to help his knees right now, right? He's on some meds. Get it together, man. Come on, what's going on? Did you vote for him? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We can't, we can't ask him for political stuff. Yeah. Thank you, officers. Do you think that he's crazy? A little bit, maybe. I'm not familiar with him, so uh, it's just uh, something comes to the news and I saw it and it's a little bit crazy, yeah. If you're not that familiar, why do you think he's crazy? Um, because sometimes I will uh, look it at the news and uh, um, just uh, uh, get information from the news. Should we believe everything we see in the news? Um, no. Yeah. I think the only thing I can do is trust news because I have no other information comes from other uh, anywhere else. So the only thing I can do is just trust. Good question. Because he's my friend, and I don't know, he's going a little bit crazy on his words lately. He's your friend? Yes. How do you know him? For three days, constantly three days, anywhere, in Massachusetts. Was he a nice guy? Yes, he is. Was he crazy? No. Actually, he talked about good things at the time, but I don't know what happened to him now. Why he changed? What's one thing that you could tell him if Ye was listening? If he's listening to me right now, he knows, he told me he wants to build America like Israel. One for all, all for one. Like kibbutz. If you remember that, remember it. I'm Toby, he knows who I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, everybody got a little crazy on them, you know what I mean? So crazy is really everything, because you do, do crazy stuff every day. Well, I realize it, you know what I mean? So. Who's saying what crazy is? He took the words out of my mouth, man. I'm sitting here listening to everybody saying that he's crazy, but what if somebody was calling him crazy? How would they feel? Right. Like, you know and saying? like you said, everybody got something crazy. Everybody. You know? Everybody. Something weird we do. Everybody. Without knowing mm-hmm. that we do. Somebody might feel that those two girls was crazy for wearing the type of shoes they had on or something. Right. You know what I mean? We like, do something crazy every day. Every day. So... Who's saying what crazy is? Are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> I am crazy. What makes you crazy? Well, it made me crazy that I work a lot of hours and things like that. You know what I mean? From 9 in the morning to 12 at night, six days. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I have too much time for myself. <laughs> that's crazy. Answer crazy yes, hours. it is. Thank you. Say, have a nice day. He said if you're running alongside a highway in short shorts against traffic, you're crazy. (laughs) If you do it with 100 people, it's a marathon. Right. That's a good quote. (laughs) You think Kanye West is crazy? Of course not. He's very woke. Yeah, I need to tune in. He's never said anything that made you upset? No. What about when he said slavery is a choice? That's his opinion. I can't be affected by someone else's choice of what they want to say. I love it. You don't get affected by what other people say? No, that's not my business. Why do you think other people online get so mad about what other people say? Because they're easily influenced by other people. And their emotions are controlled by what they gotta say. Man. I love her. Do you think we prioritize feelings over facts online? Of course. Because it just stimulates your serotonin and all that dopamine anyway just by being on social media. Right. I love right. an intelligent person come on, right. on and starts talking. Like uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? And then you know, people will probably even I man, listen. I love her. Yeah, she's speaking that talk right mm-hmm. now though. She's speaking that talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think we prioritize feelings over facts online? Of course. Because it just stimulates your serotonin and all that dopamine anyway just by being on social media. So it does that. Mm-hmm. How do we fix that? Stay off of social media and read some books. <laughs> Would you wear an all lives matter shirt? Or a White Lives Matter shirt? Nah, fuck all that. I'm not into all that. I'm not going to say that, what I was about to say. But, oh, say it. Come on, be honest. I'm canceled, bro. I want to hear some honesty. (laughs) You want to hear some honesty? I honestly didn't support Black Lives Matter because the money put into that program was usurped and put into other people's pockets. It didn't benefit black people. We all know that. Was anything accomplished for Black Lives Matter? Hell no. <laughs> Just more separation, divide. You think it was one big scam? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
You think Kanye West is crazy? Is Ye crazy? Hell no, I support Ye. I love Kanye West. Yo, Kanye West, I love you. I love Kanye West. I support Kanye West. I always have all my life. That's what's up. Why do you think people are calling him crazy? I think people say he's crazy because they don't want them to hear what he's really saying, which might be influential. Who do you think created so, cancel culture? Big media. <laughs> Who owns big media? Jews. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Jews and gays. Are you laughing because you know you said something offensive or you said something that's so truthful that it could get this video deleted? <laughs> uh, I laugh because it's the truth. Huh. I believe it to be the truth. I know it to be the truth. I know it to be the truth. What is considered hate speech to you? N Heard? No. <laughs> you should be recorded, by the way. Do you guys have a permit? Um, we don't need a permit to, to film like this. It must be on a tripod. Well, this is in uh, your, you have a cable set up inside the transit. Right, right. We've been filming, I've been doing this for like two years now. Yeah, no, they just came upstairs. You know, the transit came upstairs. They asked us who you guys are. Okay, do blue lives matter? Blue lives? I'm not going blue to. Blue lives? Lie. Listen, I fucks with. Nah, I. Yes, I do. You think that Trump deserves to be banned off of social media? I think Trump deserves uh, life in prison for treason or worse. He doesn't deserve anything. No, no rights at all. But look, <clears throat> y'all see how somebody was hating on this guy right here doing uh -huh. the podcast. Uh -huh. They went to go tell the police to try to escort him off the premises, but uh -huh. he's not doing anything wrong. Right. He That's said, why, and he said he's been doing it for two years. Two years. That's why the cops turned back around. They couldn't really say nothing, or do nothing, because he's not really. Do what am I doing? Right. I, I can't sit here with a table in front of me and right. talk to people. Right. There's people that play music at, right. on the subway. And ask for change. Right. Like, come on now. Stop This it. world is rigged. Right. But see, he's speaking the truth. And exactly. he's speaking the truth out of other people. And right. they, don't want, they don't want him to, to, to put that out there. Exactly. So they're trying to stop it. You know, that's crazy. This world is... That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't deserve anything. No, no rights at all. Trump doesn't deserve any rights at all? No more than the, I think he's. I think he should be a convicted felon and have those, uh, you know, everything else stripped of him. You don't see convicted felon sitting in giving you an interview. Kanye West is a very. If he said that, then everybody who's in the political party needs to be imprisoned. Facts. Real talk. Facts. Not just him. That's crazy. You know, everything else stripped of him. You don't see convicted felon sitting in giving you an interview. Kanye West is a very vocal supporter of Trump. Do you think that he's crazy? Uh, I think that Kanye uh, West should be embarrassed for himself. Uh, his anti-Semitism is disgusting, and uh, and he's a disgusting individual. Should he be banned from social media? If I ran the social media company, he would be banned. What's one thing you would say to Ye if he was watching this? I wouldn't talk to the man. He's he's a disgusting human being. There was a an incident in Los Angeles today attributed to him where people were showing banners over the freeway that said Kanye's right and the Jews need to die. Is that really his fault? Absolutely, it's his fault. He's he take responsibility for other people misinterpreting his message? Not in, not misinterpreting. They're repeating. So how do you feel? About what? The people putting up the signs on the freeway. You can't, you can't, you can't. You can't con yeah, you can't control what people do. That's like saying that like, you know how people be going out doing stupid stuff and they want to claim that they did it because of a rap lyric they mm -hmm. heard or a song like or a movie? movie. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, in that case, stop making movies. That's like that. Right. Ban those movies. Ban, right. you know, uh, hip hop. Ban lyrics. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you These can't. Are people who have felt this way but don't have a big enough platform to right. say what they really mean. Right. So, That's you know, stupid. you have people that. <clears throat> When somebody say when somebody says something that you've been wanting to say forever, you're mm -hmm. gonna get everybody out that's been wanting to say, to say the same right. thing. They just don't like you just said. They don't have the platform to say it. All. Right. So now, once somebody does have that big platform to say it, all, now that's, let me call, that's my reason now. My to, excuse to come out, to come and, out say, and start saying this right. shit now. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's it just dumb to me that like, you know you can't blame Kanye because somebody want to go on a. 
a, a freeway overpass and hang over a banner right. and put it on there, whatever they want to put. That, they, go, they was going to do that regardless. They right. was already thinking it. it. Was, if somebody else, somebody was going to speak out vocally right. about whatever. Right. And it was going to, like you said, it was, it was going, it was bound yeah, to happen. It was bound to happen. It just so happened to be Kanye West who. Right. But you know, they tried to cancel, uh, was it Tom Cruise or uh, who was it? Who was it? Was it Tom Cruise? It was somebody, one of them celebrities that was going crazy like some years back. Like with the Jew thing, I think it was. Was it Tom Cruise? I don't remember. I don't know. I can't remember. Y'all comment down below and help me out. For other people misinterpreting his message? Not, in, not misinterpreting. They're repeating. You remember when Tom Cruise went on somebody's talk show was jumping on the couch and stuff like that? Was that Tom? That was Tom Cruise, wasn't it? So you know, I get actors all mixed up. Yeah, like. on Oprah's. Couch, I think. Was he tripping or something like that? Like, I don't, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Comment down below. For other people misinterpreting his message? Not, in, not misinterpreting. They're repeating his message. Very different than misinterpreting. Misinterpretations can be corrected. Um, but repeating his message is very clear. The message, he said that he was going to go death, quote, death con three on Jews. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, his followers are... You know, uh, making anti-Semitic statements and the, the Jews should die kind of statement. He's crazy because um, he's crazy enough to challenge himself and also crazy enough to challenge every spectrum in this world. I'm from the south side of Chicago. He's from Chicago. And when he first came out, he challenged everyone's perspective to think differently. And right now, I just feel like, yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy intelligent. He's crazy beautiful. He's crazy problematic. He's crazy in so many different ways that we can't even comprehend because we haven't got there in our psyche yet to understand what the hell is going on with him. Right. So is he crazy or is he a visionary? Is he just 10 years ahead of everybody else? Both. He's both. He's everything because you're everything because I'm everything. He just now is challenging everything and right. everyone's perspective. Just like white lives matters and white black lives matter. We're challenging where our mind is at, what words, what, what, what words have power. And if we're going to give it power and we gave Black Lives Matter power, power because yeah. it matters. And there is a huge demographic of this world for so many years that have been programmed that white lives are more important. Their money is important. Their value is important. Their, their perspective on all our ecosystems is powerful. And I'm tired of that. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about me. I want to talk about people that look like us, that think like us. Because for so many years, our, ma our us mattering has not been appreciated, has of no value. And we have literally been raped and we have been taking all our resources and has been spreading around the world that we can't even figure out who we are. What's one thing you would say to Ye if he was watching this? If I was to say Ye, I was like, yo, give us, put it in the music. Put it in the music. Speak it in the music. We're going to buy it. We're going to feed into it because your power is in music. Music. Just like power was in Mozart, power was in Beethoven, power was in, you know, in Beyonce. You need to put it in the music and just leave it there. You don't need social media. You're an artist. Let your art form seek into every person's soul like it does and keep it there. If it's if it's good, if it's bad, if it's politics, if it's relationship, if it's, if it's love, just put it in your music. Because that's how you start it and that's how you're going to end. It's because of your music. Who created cancel culture? Everybody created, social media created cancel culture because everybody that logged... Who created social media? A white man. A white man's idea. But the, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't know the exact, I know who created it, but at the end, at, but who made it take it to the next level? You know what I mean? That's really the question. Who is taking it there? You know what I mean? The people's the algorithms that are being shut down, that people are not allowing to be seen, that's who created it. That's what people are afraid of. Is freedom of speech dead? No, because there's platforms like this that make it alive. What if I told you I'm banned on every single social media platform? I would say you're doing your job. Right. You're doing what you came to do. You came to challenge spaces, and those spaces don't are afraid of this type of conversations, and that's what we need more of. It's not even controversy about conversation. That... <laughs> Okay, so if he's banned, how is he uh, I think, putting it on YouTube? I think he just started a new channel because I was looking at his, at his sub count. And it should be way higher than what it is. Okay. Way higher than what it is. And his views. Right. So shout out to Sneeko, Stewie, Stewie, Stewie Guy. Y'all, 
go subscribe to his channel. And that's what we need more of. It's not even controversy about conversation. And I think what we need to do is start to think about humanity as a whole, about whether or not we all matter. Because the way things are going right now, it seems like nobody's life matters. Right. Man. Look at home, the homeless population. Look at the jail population. Mental health. We have a mental health crisis, food crisis, unemployment crisis. The world is in crisis. Right. So the way I look at it, we need to ask, does anybody life matter? Right. Do you think Kanye West is crazy? I think the brother, as a clinical social worker, the brother needs to definitely be on medication. I think he definitely is exhibiting symptoms of bipolar disorder and he needs to be on medication. What's one thing you could tell Ye right now if he was watching this? <coughs> brother man, get your mental health in order and then come back and say all the stuff you've been saying. I don't want to consider him crazy. I'll just say he's on another level. What type of level? Universal level. Can you explain that a little more? I mean, it's kind of... He act like he about to rob somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just sitting there with his hand in his pocket. I'd be nervous all <laughs> interviewing him. Yeah, like, then take your hand out your pocket. Like, What's going on? You feel like, me? I'm about to cry. Man, give him, huh? I feel like, I feel like crying right now. Well, cry, let it out. <clears throat> Can you explain that a little more? I mean... It's kind of, it might, it might make me seem crazy, but he's just universally in tune. He knows things that we don't know. He knows things that, 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 that are beyond the eyes. You know what I'm saying? You know, what you can see is what you, what you think is what it is, but that ain't what it is, you heard? So that's, that's the best way I could put it. Why do you think they're trying to ban him off everything? Because he's exposing everything. He's exposing the, the, everything, like, you know what I'm saying? He's exposing. You want to talk about it? I'm good. I have my, <clears throat> I have my hoodie. It's just, it's so, it's so sad, you guys. Like this world. I just think of the era that I grew up in, that we grew up in, and you know everything was new. <laughs> no, the world has never been perfect, but it's just, it's. <laughs> It's just so sad to see that people can't even really answer a question or speak how you really feel. Like this is it's sad. It's I'm thinking about the next generation that's coming up, the younger kids that are coming up. Like how's the world how's this world going to be for them? I'm glad that my kids are grown and old enough to <coughs> you know to to see how the world works and, and really understand it. But I, I worry about our youth that's coming up, that's growing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when they get into adulthood, like, what is life going to be like for them? Right. Like, it's so, it's just unfortunate that, that we can't even have our own thoughts and opinions and, you know, everybody else is free and willing to do and I and I'm not knocking I'm not knocking the trans community, the gay community, but it's like it's like we have to worship and agree with their beliefs and you know, we have to be understanding which <coughs> I am and I'm not I'm not preaching no hate speech or none of that. I love humans. I love people at the, I love people. And it's just sad that we have to conform to, to so much fake, fakeness in this world. Nobody can, can speak their real opinions and have their own thoughts and we all get along. And, and it's just so unfortunate. And I'm thinking about the kids that's growing up in this world and have to see all this going on. And it's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. Like you. Mm -hmm. How old is he? No. Nah. Don't you worry about that? Like what is life going to be like mm -hmm. for him mm -hmm. growing up? Mm -hmm. It's, it's sad y'all. I'm sorry. This is just how I feel right now. Like 
It's okay. You ain't gotta apologize. And I'm not trying to make the video longer than what it is. Nah, so. you good. But he's exposing everything. <laughs> He's exposing the, the everything, like, you know what I'm saying? He's exposing everything. You just got to pay attention to what he's saying. That's it. What's one thing you would say to A right now if he was watching this? Hold on, you got tissue right there. You see that stuff? What he's saying? That's it. What's one thing you would say to A right now if he was watching this? Keep exposing him, homie. Don't stop, you know? You're rich, you know? You're a rich black man. Keep it going. Do you think we still have freedom of speech? Huh. Yeah. I, we have, conceptually, we do. Is that it's something that happens in practice? I don't know. You know, I think from what I see on the media, a lot of folks are talking about um, they're being censored. And if they call out certain things they live to regret it later on and so you know our freedoms are being challenged today and the concept of freedom of speech is really being challenged especially in this age of digital the, 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 the rapid fire of how much information is spread around and the way people have the opportunity have the ability to edit what they want to edit right. like this right. this could be what I can make you look racist if I wanted to Ooh. Oh, you sure can. You sure can. You sure can. So it's it's in this in this whole thing. It's like really being careful about how we use social media, what word, what messaging we put out there, um, and also just honoring each other's humanity. That's the main thing I think. We gotta start re-honoring humanity and stop pivoting so much on what comes out of people's mouth. Because a lot of the time, people say a lot of things and they're just talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking. I believe don't no one deserves to get banned on social media unless you're a rapist, a pedophile, or something of that nature. And those and, and that's basically your content where you you promoting child abuse or right. something like that. Like right. you know what I'm saying, but I, I don't think that if you talking and you expressing how you feel about certain situations, they should cancel you. Right. I'm saying or oh, oh, have any input on what you what you, what your content is, especially if you're not doing no rapist shit. Right. I'm saying or no pet. See, but I, you know, look, this this what I don't get though. So you remember back in the day, <clears throat> for you guys out there also who may remember that was that's old enough. You remember when NWA was going through their little situation when mm -hmm. they came out with that song "F the Police" and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. <clears throat> they was going through that situation as far as freedom of speech, mm -hmm. right? They won their battle, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, I ain't gonna say one of the reasons, but the reason, but one of the reasons why rap is the way it is now today, right. by expressing yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So why can you, why can you express yourself on a record, on, on, on a record, like a rap record or mm -hmm. a song or, you know, album, whatever, but you can't do it on a social media platform? Right, which that's what it's for. That's what it's for, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's weird to me. Like, that's kind of like contradicting the whole situation. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? That's like, so true. You know, you can say what you want to say as long as you're making an album and you put it as an artist, but even though this is your job on this platform, we're going to ban you for saying certain things. Exactly. That's stupid. It's, it's, this that world is freaking is... stupid. Like, that don't even make sense. It's sick. What your content is, especially if you're not doing no rapist shit, you know what I'm saying, or no pedophile shit, you ain't, prom you ain't promoting no no foul shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't see why they should take it away from you, you heard? Or, or, or ban you or none of that. They just know that too, a person has 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 a grip to the world. People listening to you, people know what's going on with you, you you, you can move the crowd. When they don't like when people have certain a certain amount of power. And, right. and for instance, your power will be your followers. Right. So now we shut down your followers and we shut down, you have no following. Right. So now you just by yourself all over again. Right. Right. That's where I'm at right now. You're gonna make it through it though. You're gonna be all right. Yeah. Just, Thank you. It was a good interview, bro. What would you say to EA right now if he was watching this? To who? I, man, listen. And I don't mean to say it like that, but I like when that other German, he just got through the interview mm -hmm. with the hooded on. Some people would probably think that he wasn't even that like intelligent like that. Right. Like, he was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wouldn't even speak like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that nigga was well uh, spoken to. I mean, Bill, you know. Well spoken in. Well spoken. 
he, and he all that. It made it, he made the point very clear. Right, very clear. You feel me? And that, it's the truth. It's the truth. People are being censored for <laughs> speaking their mind. Man. Right. Thank you. It was a good interview, bro. What would you say to EA right now if he was watching this? To who? To EA if he was watching this. I would say, be careful what you say, because they're going to take it a lot of different ways. Right. And I'll say, I'm behind you. That's what I would say. I'll say, I'm behind you. Who do you think created cancel culture? I don't know. Who created, I don't know. Who controls the media? Good question. XDA. <laughs> who do you think controls the banks? XDA. Yo, thanks for coming on. Look, I've been seeing your videos. Of course, Andrew Tate, you know, his mulatto ass. I've been seeing his videos. I love it, man. It's good stuff. It's people that, uh, it's conversations that people aren't having, especially just men. They're not having these conversations because of, let's say, cancel culture or, like, uh, being politically correct. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, um, what's correct and right by people, not just groups of people, you know, in general. We're at a time where we need to all hold hands or it's all going to go down the drain. And we all fuck. The earth is fucked. Right. Why do you think they're trying to trying to divide us? Because it's easier to control people that aren't unified. Right. That's why jobs don't want unions. Right. Starbucks. Now right. I think you're, you're trying to trying to say this is censorship, but I don't I don't believe that censorship. You see it as punishment. I see it as punishment. I'd like it to be punishment. I think when it's the ex president. That's a level of censorship because that's an influence. You're, you're thinking about him as a man, Donald Trump as a person, but this is somebody who was the leader of the free world. Well, I don't believe he was the leader of the free world. It's a title, but you understand what I'm saying. Cozying up, cozying up to Putin the way that he did in, Hel in uh, Helsinki. Cozying up to Kim Jong-il that he did in South Korea. And that makes him by association. My point is that singling out and like trying to point it at his ego and saying that he's addicted to Twitter is minimizing the fact that you're seeing a justice punishment when a lot of people probably should hear what the ex-president of the United States has to say. Right. That's what I think. Um, okay, you're welcome to your opinion. My opinion is... That, punishment, not censorship. My, my opinion is, is, you know, put them on an ice floe and set them out in the sea and let them melt and let the whales eat them up. I mean, I'm, wow. th this man has damaged America. Trump should be sentenced to death? Man, America has already been damaged. Right. Way before Trump even got into office, so he must when he be was perfect. doing The Apprentice, this world was already damaged. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <laughs> he must be perfect. Yeah, I mean, he must be. I mean, I'm, th this man has damaged America. Trump should be sentenced to death. Uh, treason is punishable by death. Woo. Do white lives... That's crazy. Th this was a... Uh... Hey, shout out to uh, Stewie Guy again, man. You know what Sneak, I mean? A.K.A. Sneeko. Sneeko, man, for uh, doing this little podcast. Yes. Yeah, this is this is very clever right here. He got to get here. back up there. Yeah. And, he got to uh, get back up there. The conversations need to be had. I know some of, some of our newer subscribers that's not really been following us like that or, you know, are the ones who, or the ones that just feel we should just stay in one lane type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like... <clears throat> We're kind of like what he's doing. You know, we're bringing awareness to a lot of things that's going around in the world. That's going on in the world to get other people's opinions on it, open up conversations about it, you know, dialogues. Because that's how you change the world is by having conversations about certain topics that may be touchy to some. You know what I'm saying? But you might want to conversate with that person so you can get an idea of why they feel the way they feel. And then hopefully through that conversation something can transpire. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they can kind of change the way they feel about a certain uh, situation or something. You know what I mean? Right. To where it can bring more people together. And that's what the problem is. Nobody want to sit down and talk. Everybody want to just point the finger and kind of judge somebody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Instead of sitting down and having a conversation with a person and just asking them. You know, hey, why you, why you feel the way you feel? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? You know? And see where they come from. So... You know, great, uh, that's a great pick. Mm -hmm. That's a great pick. Uh, we've been on this thing for a long time, y'all. We yes, apologize once goodness. again. It's the longest video we've ever, ever done. done. You feel me? In all our videos. We all put them all together. Like, 
<laughs> but uh, you want to just straight straight to the shout outs or yeah. you add anything? I, I've added enough. Okay. Um, <sighs> okay, first shout out goes to Dennis Ray. What's up, Dennis Ray? Dennis Ray, shout out to you, man. Hope you definitely enjoyed that one. That was a very, very good one. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you feel about yes. it. Yes. Second shout out goes to Beard Called the Guardian. What's up, Beard Called the Guardian? Beard Called the Guardian. I can kind of relate. Shout out to you, man. Hope you definitely enjoyed that reaction. Let us know what you thought about it. Once again, we're sorry, you guys. It's a 40-minute video, but we hope you guys enjoy it. Yes. You know what I mean? And uh, yes. make sure you guys you go out your way. To have yourselves a wonderful day. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. It will be a lot shorter, too. Yes. We promise. Yes. <laughs> Peace. Peace.